the hell do you want? Justice. I know that look in Zack's eyes, and it scares the hell out of me. I'm so sorry the valve didn't work. Well, Zack is furious that Ian isn't strong enough, that he has to be in a machine until he can have another surgery. Are you absolutely sorry? I honestly, I think the waiting was driving him crazy. You double check. All right, well, he's nowhere in the hospital. Security checked the cafeteria, they checked the grounds, checked surrounding area. Are you sure you called every number he has? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I called home, I called the casino, I called his cell. He's not answering me on purpose. He would want to know any news about Ian. Well, there's no question where he went, is there? You knew, this whole time you knew and you did nothing. You put your greed ahead of my son's life. Now, what do you think I should do now? Just get out of my house. Zach, please. Zach. I am just as angry as you are about Ian, but Adam is not well. There is something wrong with him. You need to him. stay out of this. Leave the woman alone and get out of my house. You're, you're venting to the wrong person. You should be having this conversation with Hayward, especially since you were stupid enough to believe his accusations. The truth. Man to man. Did you or did you not know that there was something wrong with this valve? We knew that there was a problem with the valve. Yes. Scott tried to stop it. But it was too late. And you did nothing. Just sitting there quiet. Hoping for some kind of miracle, hoping that Ian will pull through. And then your company would be okay and no one would say anything. If we knew beforehand that the problem was there, then we would have stopped the operation. But come on, Zach. The child was on the operating table. The prototype was supposed to save his life. If you'd have been in that position, you'd have done exactly the same thing I did. Zach. Sorry, Aiden, this is not what I wanted. I thought you loved me, honey. I do still love you. Well, then why are you doing this? I cannot live without Emma. You have to. Right, for her sake and for yours. I thought we were going to start a brand new life together. I'm sorry, but I have to get my baby back. You'll never really understand that. Aiden, I am a mother. Before anything else, uh, I am a mother. It doesn't change the circumstances. You have to stop this, Annie, before it's too late. Aiden, you don't have children. I'm not faulting you for that, but because of that, you can't understand what I'm going through. You're not going to be able to just take Emma. You're wrong. I almost had her tonight. I was so close. And there will be another opportunity when they're least expecting it. I'm sorry. You have to realize that. I just, I just wish that you could understand. I do understand. That's what I love about you. Nothing can stop me from loving you. Stop, stop, okay? Listen to me. I know you're scared. I know you're angry about Ian. I understand that. I understand that this is not the way to do it, all right? Think about it. You lay one hand on him, they're going to put you away, and you're not going to be able to be there for Ian when he needs you the most. This company's gone down, Zach, after this scandal. Let him be humiliated. There'll be plenty of time for revenge later. Exactly. Please, Zach, just, just get back to Ian. Kendall and Ian need you. Come on, man. Come on. Thank you for standing by me. I should have encouraged him to go ahead and throttle you. I'm not the only one to blame here, you know. No, God help me, I did everything I possibly could to get you to convince David to do that surgery. And you knew that that valve could kill Ian. I swear to you, I didn't know there was a problem with that valve until it was too late. Don't abandon me now, Erica. If anything happens to that baby, you deserve everything that is coming to you. Come on, Zach. You're going to get your shot at Adam. Just do this the right way. Come on. No, 
Oh, Zach. No, Zach. You know what? I thought about doing this the right way. It's not going to work. I'm going to do it my way. To the Chandlers. I know that place like the back of my hand, so I climbed the trellis to the sun porch by the nursery and I saw her sleeping. She was sleeping so sound and she's so beautiful. And then, of course, Ryan showed up and took her, probably back here, probably just floors above us, so close, but he's definitely going to be watching her. And then when Jesse gets a call from Interpol, there's going to be all points out for you. And even if you get close to Emma, there'll be nowhere where you can take her. Well, then I will have to act quickly then, Yeah, you I? will. Like in the next 24 hours. And you're right, you won't be able to just walk through the front door. Have you thought about the freight elevator on the first floor? Then you can take the back stairs. But on the south side of the building, because the north side has security Wait, cameras. Wait, hold on, slow down. Well, well, I don't know which one is the south side of the building. I'll draw you a map. Give me a pen and paper and untie it. the best it up. Salt and battery. Right here. Erica saw it. She saw it all. She heard the threat that he was going to put a bullet right here in the middle of my forehead. Tell him! <laughs> all right, Lavery back here. He's, uh, he was a witness to some of uh, Zach's earlier threats. Take him out to the, to the foyer. Lock him up. I don't think so. You don't think so? That man broke into my house and threatened my life, and you're going to do nothing about it? I'll have your badge, Jesse. You're not going to have anything, Adam Chandler. You know, I put my butt on the line for you when you kidnapped your grandson. Then I helped you get him back. You owe me. You helped me get off the hook? When I kidnapped my own grandson. <laughs> That's, yeah, listen to yourself. That's pathetic. That man out there, he's got a little boy who needs him right now because somebody was very careless about what went into his little chest. Now, I will keep Zach away from you, your son, and your nephew. But I got to tell you, kind of know what he's feeling right now. So you're not going to press any charges. Isn't that right, Erica Kane? That is absolutely right. I'm going to make sure he doesn't. That is not satisfactory. Oh, shut up, Adam. Go back to the hospital. I will arrange for bail. If anything happens with Ian, just let me know. If anything happens to that boy, you'll be there to hear it yourself. Uncuff him. You got to promise me. No more breaking and entering. No more assault. What's that? Come on. You trying to destroy your family? If my son dies, it's going to destroy my life. You must hate me for talking you into the surgery. For using Adam's valve. Maybe you should have put a big X on my forehead instead. I don't hate you. I don't blame you for anything. You fought for our son, that's all you did. I blame Adam. I blame Adam and his greed. After what happened tonight, they'll be watching you. Yeah, no doubt. And if anything happens to Ian, they won't leave you alone. They'll probably take you into custody to protect Adam. I, I want you to know if that happens, I'll take care of things. If Ian dies, I'll kill Adam. <laughs> <laughs> 